Real Steel 2011. We find Charlie, Hugh Jackman, navigating the countryside in his vehicle, hauling a trailer destined for a county fair. His plan involves pitting his old robot, Ambush, against an 800-pound bull in the scheduled match. However, the ring leader manipulates the contest by substituting a formidable 2,000-pound fighting bull instead of the agreed-upon opponent. Despite Charlie and Ambush holding their ground, a distraction caused by a girl in the stands diverts Charlie's attention. Seizing the opportunity, the bull strikes Ambush from behind, severing its leg. Although Ambush attempts to continue the battle on one leg, the broken bot proves no match for the overpowering bull. Charlie, having wagered more than he possesses on the fight, hastily departs the town before the debt collectors arrive. Meanwhile, Max, Dakota Goyo, who was under his mother's full custody, loses his mother. According to Texas state law, custody now falls to his father, Charlie. Faced with the option, Max is and offers to take custody, but Charlie resorts to blackmailing her affluent husband for $100,000 in exchange for signing the custody papers. Securing half of the amount up front, he invests the money in acquiring an aging first-generation champion robot named Noisy Boy. With the assistance of Max and Bailey, Evangeline Lilly, his former love, and the daughter of his past human boxing coach, Charlie manages to make Noisy Boy comply with his commands. However, in his eagerness and without proper training, he rushes the bot into a fight. The bot's reputation propels it into a high-stakes match against Midas, but Charlie's lack of experience and overconfidence lead to his defeat, resulting in the loss of both the money and the renowned robot. After his last bot becomes trashed, Charlie takes Max to the junkyard to scour parts to try and fix up one of the old bots. After a dangerous fall, Max finds a buried robot, but Charlie doesn't see the potential. Charlie says that he'll consider it if Max digs it up, so Max stays through the night to recover the bot. After getting it to the gym, they reboot it and find out it has a rare shadow function, but that is the only piece of value Charlie sees, while Max sees an amazing machine. The bot was Generation 2, barely, and it was built as a sparring bot for higher class bots. It was designed to take a heavy beating and mimic moves of other bots to help train the fighters, but was never designed to fight itself. After failing to get a loan from an old friend, Max finally convinces Charlie to give the robot a shot in a fight. He stays up all night teaching it basic, inexperienced fighting moves with the shadow function. He even develops a sort of a friendship with the robot, who he discovered while cleaning the bot off that its name is Adam. Charlie takes it to the zoo, an underground, lower-class ring for unofficial fights with no rules and the remains of an abandoned animal park. Against Charlie's wishes, Max bets large against the ring leader. Max, with the advice of Charlie, comes out with an underdog victory. Taking the money and the momentum, they schedule another fight. Charlie sees Max dancing, with the robot mimicking the dance with his shadow function. Max knows that he doesn't have the fight knowledge to teach it to fight well. Charlie says that the dancing can be their flair, and that he'll agree to teach it to fight if Max is the showman and mechanic. Max takes the speech function from Noisy Boy and lets Charlie do his thing. With the bot's superior durability and speed, combined with its shadow function mimicking Charlie's human boxing, Adam becomes a rising star. Max uses his winnings to buy spare parts and repairs Adam, and Charlie slowly starts paying off old debts. It's not long before Max, Charlie, and Adam are recognized by professional promoters and invited to take part in the WRB, Worldwide Robot Boxing. They are pitted in a match against Twin Cities, an Asian robot with two heads and users. After being beaten into a corner, Charlie finds Twin Cities' weakness, and during the confusion between its controllers, Adam lays the beat down. After a grueling, metal-on-metal -metal slugfest, Adam finally is announced the victor. When entering the ring as the champion, Max grabs the microphone and publicly challenges Zeus to a duel. Zeus is the leading champion, undefeated in robot boxing. In fact, it's remained on the top by annihilating each and every opponent. No opposing bot has even lasted two whole rounds with Zeus. This champion bot was constructed by the champion bot maker, the once retired creator Takmashido who built the Generation I champion Noisy Boy. It was commissioned by a rich Russian oligarch Lemkova and his daughter Farah Lemkova to be the best fighter out there, and using a new program that analyzes fighting patterns and other bots and overrides them, it's the best there is. It's not all good news for Max and Charlie.
Charlie's old debt from the county fair catches up with him after the fight with Twin Cities. After a failed escape attempt, the goons catch Charlie and Max. They have no qualms about beating an 11-year-old kid and stealing his money, but they take it a bit further when they beat Charlie within an inch of his life. Charlie sees the danger in the lifestyle and calls Max's aunt to take him to save him from the danger. After an emotional scene where Max reveals that all he ever wanted was for Charlie to fight for him, the aunt and uncle take custody. After a little thinking time, Charlie realizes what he should do for Max, getting the approval for the fight against Zeus. He shows up on the aunt's doorstep and awkwardly apologizes to Max. Although she disagrees, she decides that Charlie can have Max for one night. They go to the championship fight, underdog against undefeated world champion. Bits are running wild with the fight, with 5-1 to one odds against Adam even surviving one of five rounds against Zeus. When the fight starts, Adam is almost instantly KO'd by Zeus. Charlie abandons the automated commands and goes for individual moves, and manages to hang in a little longer with Zeus. Adam is getting beat hard by Zeus still, though, but reaches the end of round one. In round two, Adam makes a few surprise hits against Zeus, and knocks its automatic sensors out of balance. Charlie gets in the grove with the bot and both Adam and Zeus are taking heavy hits. Adam has lasted longer than any bot before against Zeus, credited to not only his excellent durability built in as a sparring bot but his non-standard moves taught to him by a human fighter, Charlie. Near the end of round 4, Adam gets trapped in a corner and his voice recognition software gets destroyed. With the advantage, Zeus gets ready to end it and only misses striking the final blow because of the ending bell. Max convinces Charlie to fight with the shadow function, and even with the severe damage, the enhanced speed and improbability of shadowing a real human in real time gives Adam a new decided advantage. Charlie and Adam strike back, hard. Dealing blow after blow directly to Zeus, his creator gets frustrated, aborts the automatic program and manually controls the bot. With Charlie abusing the shadow function, however, it is all for naught. Charlie starts taking Zeus down for the championship and is stopped by the bell, ending the fifth and final round. Against the popular vote of the crowd, the judges vote in favor of Zeus, so he retains the crown, but Charlie and Max's bot Adam gets the honorary title of People's Champion. No.